the people leading businesses today of my age are nowhere near the discipline and the culture of the new age technology, social media and virtual working. I think the long and short is that here is a situation that is upon us. At the other side of the way, things will not be the way they were. There will not be a bounce back. We're going to just be a bounce forward. And it's only those that can adapt that will survive. In ALA, we've been doing uh, international meetings and customer impacts uh, virtually. And if you think that the situation is normal, you just have to think back to the last time the Olympics were postponed. Perhaps there is no recent recollection, but the truth is that the Tokyo Olympics seem to have been postponed. The issue then is, how can we lead teams remotely? How can we continue to work remotely to serve the customers in a virtual manner? And I think that the supply chain is going to shift tremendously and create new sets of business within. I think what we have to think about is how to adapt to this new way of doing business. And clearly we need some hand-holding. And there's going to be new opportunities. The, the minus side for us is that the people leading businesses today of my age are nowhere near the discipline and the culture of the new age technology, social media and virtual working. The plus side is the millennials that are coming into the leadership positions are very cognizant with this way that we call new. I think the long and short is that here is a situation that is upon us. At the other side of the way, things will not be the way they were. There will not be a bounce back. We're going to just be a bounce forward. And it's only those that can adapt that will survive. And to adopt, you need the help. Help of specialists, thought leaders, help of consultants such as the Oslo Leadership Academy. And we're going to continue to help our customers in the same way we've been helping them before the pandemic. Look out for our subsequent webinars.